Well, good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel, Lovely Life Mallorca. I'm Andrew, and today I brought you to play De Miro to have a little look around, which is a beautiful little, little spot. It's a proper tourist area with lots of um, cafe shops and it's a proper cycling place you'll find lots and lots of places that rent out bicycles without further ado let's get on with the walk as i was saying play de muro is well liked with cyclists it's holiday cycling hotels here places that rent out bicycles how good you are or how good you think you are you can rent a bicycle for your standard being an electric bike or a professional bike so up this side of the road here, you'll find lots of hotels, shops, and um, tourist shops, cafes, bars, that sort of thing. And the other side of the road, you'll find uh, more hotels. And over the other side of the hotels, you'll find the Playa de Miro Beach. So it's lots of different restaurants about. You'll recognize uh, some of the names of them. I do love the trees, you know. It, this is what makes it for me. It's all, we had a lot of rain this morning, really poured up, but this afternoon, the, the sun's come out. It's quarter to four in the afternoon now, and it's, it's a beautiful day in the end. So I say, it really did rain hard this morning. Whatever you fancy for, for dinner, you can find it all up here, what your budget is. Just fancy, um, some tapas, some wines, lagers, beers, that sort of thing. You'll have something around here. Got a little pick and mix shop here as well. If you do fancy some pick and mix, you just know exactly where to come. But down this road down the bottom there, you'll find lots of hotels you might have booked. There's even a Burger King just on the corner there. Rent a car, rent a bicycle, a moped, anything along those lines. And you'll find lots of bus stops down here, going either way. Obviously the way we're facing now, they'll take you down to Camp, Camp Pickfall around there. But on the other side of the road, we'll take you back to Acudia, the port, the old town. And even if you're feeling brave, getting the bus down to Palmer itself and having a day around there. And you've got lots of little kiosks around here and places to sell excursions. So down here in the winter months, it completely closes. It's like a, a ghost town around here. All the shops close up for the winter. You might find one or two little restaurants, bars just open, but really there isn't a lot at all around here. But the cyclists come, they still come and winter months is still very popular for the cyclists around here. It, this, this cycling shop even sells bicycles, 1,100 euros. At the end of every year, they do actually sell some of their cycles. And if you know what you're doing, I've been told you can actually get a good deal on a bicycle at the end of the season. Fancy a fridge magnet? You'll find lots of choices around here with them, all different types. What are they, 250 each? three for six or six for ten euros so if you want all toys and things you've got lots of choices down here of all different things and some of the restaurants open all day and some of them are just open in the evenings as I've said so many times you really will not go hungry or thirsty on any part of the island in the summer or the winter. And obviously being such a big biking area here, there's plenty of places to lock your bicycle up as well. You'll find plenty of supermarkets around here as well. If you're self-catering or you just fancy a little snack whilst you're walking or a drink. And there's a doctor's surgery here, just on the end. So you've got some nice outside bars as well as cocktail bar just there. Look at all the pallets they've made into seats there. I mean, it really is a, an interesting little um, bar, isn't it, really? Got some um, 
designer clothing shops up here. Then if you come up here, you've got all these children's rides just here as well. well it's definitely um, a children's resort round here, isn't it? And then another car rental place here for bicycles, normal bicycles, excursions in their cars, bicycles. So this is the local police station just here. On the other side of the road, you've got lots of hotels as well. If you fancy a trip around, Play de Muro has still got a little ting ting train as well that goes around the whole of Play de Muro, the side streets and the whole lot. So lots of places to buy inflatable buckets and spades and uh, just different things along those lines and if you go thirsty there's lots of places that sell coke and water, anything along those lines for takeaway as well as drinking in. And you fancy an inflatable, but you really can't make up your mind what you'd like. As you can see here, we've got a great big choice of inflatables in this shop, haven't you? You're bound to find something you'd you fancy. And if you are a, a keen cyclist, they've got various places around here. They've got a map of the island with uh, route suggestions and things. So, you know, if you can't make up your mind where you'd like to go, You've got suggestions everywhere around here. And they've got some takeaways as well. I've got a takeaway pizza just here, selling ice creams and things. So I was saying to you earlier, this is a well-known cycling park, Play de Muro, as well as can, um, can pick for Play de Muro, Porto Poenta and all that sort of thing. So you'll find everywhere, plenty of places, plenty of suggestions where to cycle if you need any help. There's plenty of people around if you need service into your bike or if it breaks down, gets a punch or whatever, there's plenty of places around here. We fancy sushi. We've got restaurants here, they specialise in sushi. And perhaps you just find like a, a glass of champagne, some strawberries and that sort of thing. Well, we've got plenty of places to do that as well. And of course, you've got to look at the cake, haven't you? Look at that. All different types of cake there as well. So if you don't fancy a, a meal, but maybe you fancy cake and a coffee, you've got plenty of there to choose from. And next to it, we've got an ice cream fridge as well. And here we've got, this is a, a cocktail bar with pasta, pizzas and that sort of thing. So you can get anything you need just around here. Now, if you like your burgers and things, you remember the Wimpy Bar, it's back in the UK. Well, this, this cafe here, Cafe Bar, is one of our favorite places for coming in here. Because this reminds me of a lot of the, the Wimpy Dust burgers and everything along those lines. And it really is a good, good um, value for money in here as well. And here we've got a tobacco shop at the end of Play de Muro. But did you know, you can only get tobacco products, cigarettes and things, from a tobacco shop. You can't get cigarettes, etc., from everyday shops. Now, this corner bar here, it sells food and things, as you can see, but it's actually opened during the winter months. I'm not sure it's all winter, mind, but you can go in there and have something to eat and drink when everywhere else is closed around here. So it's quite nice to have something around here. So at the end of the shops now, I'm just going to cross the road here and head down towards the beach. So I was saying about the Ting Ting train, it does cover all of Play de Muro and it's four euros per adult and three per child. 
and it does it's got 34 stops and it's quite a good um, timetable as well and this one here's this but uh, stop number six just here so down towards the beach we go and it's a long beach as you know it goes from Okudia to Camp Picafort walking down here it's beautiful views all around the bay I found here all the way down to the port Alcanada and things you can see it's such a beautiful looking beach isn't it it really is and there's colors to the sea down there absolutely beautiful it's absolutely lovely isn't it looking at the sea and people just enjoying themselves, you know, playing sandcastles and things like that. But it's quite, it's very windy down here today, actually. Whoops. Oh, well, well. <laughs> I didn't, I'm taking my sandals off. And the actual waves come straight up over my sandals. But that's life, isn't it? And you've got some pedlos here as well. And you know, it's lovely to have so many people in the sea, isn't it? But all the hotels we saw on the way up, you know, on the left-hand side of Play de Muro, they actually come out on the beach itself. So just over this, this Albufera just here on the left. There's all the hotels along there we saw. it's one thing you can't get bored of isn't it it's just listening to the waves and you tend to forget where the um the 22nd of september now and just over a week's time we're going to be october so i've only got just over a month about five weeks now to the end of the season when the majority of the places will close down now to so close down then until the beginning of next season so this is definitely the last of summer wine isn't it as they say just coming away for the last bit of sunshine so i was saying it's incredible to think we're at the end of september now isn't it So there's two ways you can walk back to Akudia way. You can either take the beach and walk all the way along the beach paddling along the way, or you can come back the roadway that we are now. Obviously you've got the Ting Ting train, you've got the normal bus. There's lots of different ways and means of transport. And I absolutely love what they've done with these bike stands where you put your bike on the end and they've, they've ended them at the end with a, a penny farthing. Isn't that brilliant? And you've got the fun well down here as well, which is brilliant fun for, e for children. It's open from five o'clock till quarter past 10. It's just opening now. As you can see, it's, it's um, full of bouncy castles, things like that. But it really is popular um, with children and things you can see. You can just have a drink here. You've got trampolines in the back. It's just getting ready to open now, so it's not quite open. But this is popular for all ages, to be honest with you. So that's Play de Muro done for the beach and the shops and everything else it has to offer. If you enjoyed today's film, I'd love you to give a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget Facebook group Love Love Mjorka. But I'll see you on the next film. Bye for now.